Welcome to Weekly Market Roundup by SoftLogic Stockbrokers. Market Highlights Weekly market turnover averaged up to 1.0 billion, increasing by 28% compared to last week, where daily turnover hovered around 0.8 billion. The top turnover generators were Capital Alliance, Lion Brewery, Melstacorp, Sumpath Bank, and Lanka IOC. Local News The CBSL eased its monetary policy stance at the 8th Monetary Policy Review of 2023 in order to reach and sustain the targeted inflation of 5% in the medium term while allowing the economy to stabilize. As a result, the SLFR and SDFR are reduced by 100 basis points to record 10% and 9%, respectively. The NCPI headline inflation increased to 1% year-on-year in October 2023 from 0.8% year-on-year in September 2023. Food inflation remained unchanged at minus 5.2% year-on-year, while non-food inflation increased to 6.3% year-on-year from 5.9% year-on-year in September. We can see that the inflation trend is gradually getting in line to reach the targeted level. The tea exports in October contracted by 4% year-on-year. The volume has dropped below the 20 million kilogram mark, where the previous five months were able to stay above that. However, Sri Lanka's tea production in October witnessed a significant growth of 20.3% year-on-year. Tourist arrivals reached 100,000 in the first 20 days of November, where the daily arrivals improved to 5,000 compared to 3,500 in October. However, it is unlikely that the industry target of 204,000 would be achievable since more than half of it is yet to be met in the remaining days of the month. October's earnings stood at 137 million US dollars, leading to a cumulative earnings level of 1.6 billion US dollars. Corporate news. Eight parties have expressed interest in acquiring the government's 51.3% stake in the Lanka Hospitals Corporation. Among those parties were existing firms in the healthcare industry, including Asairi, Hamas, and Sunshine Holdings, and other foreign parties from India, the UK, and Malaysia. John Keel's Holdings Group has inked a partnering agreement with BYD, which is a Chinese electric vehicle company. This collaboration aims to offer a range of advanced, eco-friendly passenger vehicles in Sri Lanka while giving the group a diversification opportunity. The Ceylon Tobacco Company's Capsulate product sale has been on hold since November 17 due to a court case. However, the company states that once it is finally decided by the court, they will eventually resume their sales as usual. Panasian Power PLC said four of its fully owned subsidiaries have clinched tenders from the Salon Electricity Board for six ground mounted solar PV projects. This would be a major achievement and have the potential to double its current capacity upon successful project completion. Moreover, these projects would support both the national energy targets and emission reduction goals. Amana Bank's capital has crossed the LKR 20 billion mark through the successful rights issue of LKR 6 billion. Strong participation was observed from new investors, including international, corporate, and HNW investors, alongside existing shareholders. Thank you for tuning in. Hope to see you in next week.